Marketing to Millennials, Four Questions Brands Must Answer Is brand loyalty dead with millennials? This question is setting off alarm bells in the retail space over the past few years as the concept that the same customers will keep returning to the same brand over and over again, whether because of cost, convenience, or mere consistency fades away. To remain competitive and relevant, brands need to adapt as consumer mindsets change. Millennials have a much different approach to brand loyalty and consumption, a company needs to align with their beliefs and values to earn their business. Brand loyalty isn't created overnight, and is a continuous journey. If brands haven't already begun to recognize that millennials require an entirely different approach to doing business, they are already behind the eight ball. Most importantly, is brand loyalty dead with millennials? Marketing to Millennials, Four Questions Brands Must Answer In 2016, I wrote about how I remain loyal to Starbucks regardless of their loyalty program. However, as I reflect on that now, I'm certain that's the case with every retailer, whether it be consumer goods or food retail. As a millennial, I stay loyal to a few brands, but for the most part, I enjoy trying different things. In this digital landscape where options are limitless, I choose the brands I patronize based on a few key items. Does the brand align with my values and beliefs? This is one of the most important things I look for in a company and brand, as do the majority of millennials. For example, if an individual is invested in helping the environment and against animal testing, they are more likely to seek out brands with the same beliefs that don't test on animals and whose products are biodegradable. Similarly, if someone doesn't want goods made internationally, they are willing to spend a little more on things made within the country that they call home. With infinite options, there's a brand that fits with everyone's values. Companies need to understand that not everyone will be loyal to their brand and work with that, instead of trying to cater to every single person. Does the brand provide consistency? Millennials tend to select brands that have a proven track record of consistency, whether it be food retailers serving the same quality food on a daily basis, or consumer goods companies providing impeccable customer service. This concept in itself has made me loyal to a few select brands. For example, I only buy my eyeliner from Sephora. Obviously, there are a number of eyeliner options in the market, but I choose them because it's reliable, not costly, and works for me. It's simple to restock on my favorites, so I don't spend time shopping around since I have already found something that meets my needs. On the other hand, I enjoy trying different food retailers. Although Starbucks is my preferred caffeine fix, trying different coffee brands broadens my palate. Brands need to provide consistency in order to keep customers happy, and also understand that's not where the customer journey ends. Does the brand innovate? Innovation is key to not only keeping customers happy, but also in keeping them loyal to your brand. A company that is always innovating keeps customers on their feet, a great example of this is Apple. Apple is the epitome of innovation, and has massive brand loyalty because they are continually evolving, and encourage their users to grow as well. As I noted earlier, brand loyalty doesn't happen overnight. Apple has been honing this art since 1976. According to Forbes, by creating an emotional connection with its customers, Apple has done the near impossible, it has acquired a loyal following. This is a true testament of emotional connection driving brand loyalty. Regardless of software updates or device crashes, Apple customers stay loyal because they believe in the values and power of Apple. Does the brand provide an experience? Finally, millennials seek experiences over goods. We want to form an emotional connection with the brand and to experience something, whether it be happiness, calmness, or love. A few weeks ago I went into the Harney & Sons Tea Shop in New York City. In addition to selling tea to purchase, they had a small coffee-slash-tea shop in the back of the store. This creates an experience for the customer, so they can sample and purchase the tea, as well as sit and work in the back, savoring the product. As brands and organizations are learning, millennials disrupt the digital landscape. It will be interesting to see how companies keep up with change in an effort to turn millennials into loyal brand customers.